Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to jasonchats.com. Andre? <laughs> I want to, um, I actually had Andre. Hey, oh, he's run off. I had him in my arms, ready to do this video. And he was wiggling. But proper wiggling to get out of my arms, so. Sometimes he does that, just because he, for no reason, but other times it's for a reason. But this time was for a reason, because he needed to go to the toilet. Because I feel kind of bad, like holding him in, in my arms and stopping him from getting away. Oh. Well, he's decided to have sex with his girlfriend. For some reason he's brought it over to me. Why have you brought it over to me for? <laughs> it's weird. He it doesn't normally do that. I'll just see, let you see what he's doing. Oh dear. Can you see him? There he is. That's his girlfriend. So, God, well, I thought that was his willy. It's my thumb. I'm gonna say, wow. Hello. Who's a big boy? Who's a beautiful boy? Hello. Hello. <laughs> say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. Do you want to go down again? Give me a cuddle for a little bit. Come on, let's have a little bit of a cuddle. No? Hey. Hey, got cuddles. Got to give daddy some cuddles. Got to give daddy some cuddles sometimes. Look. Yes. Yeah, look. No. Little smelly belly, your little smelly belly. Oh, okay, go then. Um, my hand. I'll get a little bit closer so you can get a big, better closer look at my sexy face. My hand is um, was really hurting yesterday and I couldn't figure out what it was I mean I know it's the break and um, but like why two weeks on well over two weeks ago that I broke it so it should be okay and it was aching and I was thinking well why 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 but it turns out the reason for it is because of the hand brace I don't even know where it is this thing that I was wearing basically is pushing onto the knuckle and because the knuckle instead of being there it's now there it's been pushed it's not a long long way but it's been pushed up so there my knuckles there I can't do it I can't make a fist but you can see there's even there if you can see that the, the knuckle is just not there anymore it's it's now there instead of there so I did it on the other hand on the other knuckle rubber 2000 no 1994 so as you can see that knuckle there there isn't it's up there so I kind of broke it I broke that hand twice now anyway the point is this thing was pressing on the top of the hand pressing on the knuckle bit which is broke and cause that's where the break is there so it's kind of it was so now what I've done I've still got it taped together I need to change this because I've been doing some washing washing up and it's getting a bit all got wet so I'm keeping the fingers together now 
but I'm not wearing this. However, I'm going to put it on because I'm trying to get some sympathy as well. I can milk some sympathy. But what I noticed when I took Andre out for a walk earlier, I need to put it on, but just put it on gently. And I'll put it on so it's not tight. But this is extra large. This is an extra large thing, so uh, hopefully it won't hurt. But I think I had it wrapped a bit tight, too tight. Anyway, God, this is a boring story, isn't it? Do you ever do that? You ever start saying something to someone and they're just halfway through or maybe even a, a bit of the way into the, the thing you're talking about, you just realise that you're bored. Not with them, but with yourself. You're bored with what you're saying. You're like, can't be bothered to continue. I do that quite a bit. Anyway, um... I went out earlier with Andre, I took him for a walk, well he took me for a walk actually, and it's one of those occasions where I wasn't going anywhere, I wasn't walking to the garage or to the shops, or um, I wasn't with anyone, so I wasn't with my friend to going for a walk there, so I just let him lead the way, and he really did, he took me for a, a big long walk all the way around the estate, and I just let him go, where, well, I let him off the lead a little, well not off the lead, but I let go of the lead and he ran around a bit as well because there was no one around, it was, it, apparently it's the hottest day of the year today and the news in my country, in England, we love talking about the weather, it's actually newsworthy, which is amazing because, you know, there was a, a terrorist attack in Stockholm, I think, today, this afternoon. And they were still talk. Well, they did talk about it on the news, but you know, but they're still talking about the weather. Hottest day of the year. It's going to be the hot. I mean, every every day, every week, it's going to be the hottest day of the year, isn't it? Because we're getting into summer. It's you know, middle of April. Well, seven. It's one week into April. Seventh of April today. Two thousand and eighteen. So we're moving towards a period where every day potentially could be the hottest day of the year. And then we get to September, November, it's the coldest day of the year. And it's the coldest day of the year again. And it's the wettest day of the year. Mm, it just, just goes on and on. Um, I don't know what Andre's doing. He's basically, he's got his girlfriend, which is the you know, the slipper, my old slipper, one of my old slippers, I've had a, he's got through two pairs of my slippers until I got these um, clog, plastic cloggy things I wear, I'll show you, guys exciting isn't it, oh. <laughs> this is what I wear now, they're not, they're not uncomfortable but they're not slippery, they're not comfortable like a slipper, they don't keep my feet warm clearly because they got holes in them, but he can't bite through. If I wear slippers, he bites, and he bites my toes, and he, he and he steals them as well. He doesn't bother with it. He does bite them sometimes, and he grabs hold of them and tries to trip me up and stuff like that. But um, with my other slippers, I'd go out, come back, and I'd have to search for one of them. Now, once I remember, it was under the bed, and it, even he can't get under the bed. How the hell did he get the slipper under the bed? I sometimes think maybe, you know Family Guy, you know uh, um, the kid, Stewie in Family Guy. I think Andre's a bit like that. He's got some kind of secret um, cupboard with all these special, you know, space age gadgets. And uh, he's able to transport the slipper under my bed. Maybe that's where his you know, special place are. Maybe it's inside the bed bit, because I've got one of those hollow beds. I know they actually have a name, but I forget what it's called, and I don't care enough to Google it. I try not to Google stuff so much. See, I don't know about you. You ever have a conversation with a friend, and, for example, oh, who is that? 
who is that uh, famous person in that film and you know who is the actress that was in Four Guy with Lee Majors as an example and you can google it in two seconds and find out who it was but then that takes away the whole interest of the conversation of trying to guess before the other person before your friend you know So I try not to do it. I might do it when I'm on my own, but if I'm with someone, it, can, it just gets very lazy. It's like, oh, just Google it. And then there is no brain activity involved then. So I try to move away from that. And there's also, I've never been one to really take too much notice of what other people say anyway, as far as factual stuff. If a piece of information is important to me, I need to know what it is, I will research for it and I will find out the actual factual situation of that event, whatever it may be. That's a very vague sentence, wasn't it? Instead of just, you know, someone says, oh, Elton John has sold, um, well, Elton John, his first single got to number one and was there for 10 weeks. I don't need to research that because I know that that's not true. But uh, sometimes I won't have an argument or I won't get into a discussion about it. I'll just say, mm, okay, oh, it's not that important to me. But then I might go online and just check and find out the actual reality, the, the facts of that. Because I don't want my brain filled with any more disinformation than it already is when you think every time you watch the news read newspapers listen to what other people say there's always like mixed stuff that maybe some of it might be true some of it might not be true some of it might be hearsay rumor some of it might just be uh, accidentally selling, selling the wrong thing selling saying the wrong thing uh, some people just believe what they've been told by their teachers or by their parents and you know the thing is a lot of people that I say a lot of people I did that a lot today I suppose it, for someone that maybe spends a whole life in a pub or in a bar they go to work and then they're in a bar and they get all the information from other people. Maybe their own, all their views from other people. So they're kind of not thinking about it themselves. Might, they might also be thinking about it themselves because you can have a lot of philosophical conversations with people in bars. I know I have. Not everyone likes that stuff, but. I think it's helpful to have correct information. That's anyway, that's what I think. It's not really relevant to the Jason Chats vlogs. Oh, by the way, anyone that's watching this, I just want to say thank you. I, can, I can't thank you for the future, so thank you for anyone that subscribes to me in the future. But thank you for those that subscribe um, with me or in onto my YouTube channel recently because I think I've got like five subscribers. I know that's not like a huge amount of subscribers, but I appreciate it. And I think most of you that have subscribed so far have been people that have also been following me and watching my videos and maybe listening to my audios for quite a while over the years on previous channels and that have subscribed to previous channels. So, I kind of want to apologise to you for my hair, for my <laughs> my beard, no, for the way I smell, but you can't, lucky you can't smell that. I'm getting a dry mouth. Ah. I... You know, people say, I've, I've got people say, oh, we shouldn't drink Coke, it's full of sugar, it's all bad for you and stuff. 
there are worse things I could be doing. Trust me. Way worse things than drinking Coke. And one can of Coke can last me a couple of hours. I'm not like gulping it down like a, I was gonna say a come hungry virgin. That's not even, why would I even say that? I'm, I'm not. Um, <laughs> come on, why did that come into my head? So I just drink Coke because I like it basically. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, what I was going to say, I want to apologise um, maybe for that, for that last comment, but I want to comment, comment yeah. apologise because I've had subscribers to my various channels over the years on YouTube and some channels I have deleted myself because I've had a maybe a meltdown uh, depression, bipolar, meltdown, some kind of, I like the term brain fart because it, it really sort of, I think it sums it up in a, a less serious way. But when it happens, I'm usually in quite a, I'll tell you kind of a routine, I've got this little routine which I'm trying to get out of that, but it, when it happens, I lose it a little bit. Something might happen where I've, maybe someone's been rude to me, maybe I've had, I might have had a comment which was, you know, uh, it upset me, I got upset. I reacted emotionally. It might be a phone call, conversation, it might just be nothing. It might be just something triggered but I don't know what the trigger was. It just happened, the mood just... I think with bipolar, mood disorders, there doesn't have to be a trigger. You know, sometimes it could just happen. You know, sometimes my moods change sometimes at a whim, in an instant. Or sometimes they're triggered. It's, you know, it varies. So... I, my routine for destruction is, it's kind of like a self-harm, but more self-sabotage. So it's harming myself, but not physically. I, I've got a routine, I, can, I delete my Facebook page, my Twitter. Of course, with deleting them, you just deactivate them and you can reactivate them again. Which is generally what I do the next day or a few days later. But So I deactivate them. So that's a little bit harm, but it's not really harmful in a sense of, depends how long I'm off for. Sometimes I'll delete them and I'll deactivate them and I won't come back for a few weeks. But usually the next day or you know, quite soon afterwards I reactivate them and other times I have deleted everything on Facebook. So I spent a good hour, maybe longer, deleting every single post off of Facebook and then deactivating it and doing the same with Twitter, then deactivating it. Uh, in the past, another thing I might do is, as well as doing that, block people. Uh, the only people I block is friends and family. I say the only, it might sound like a weird thing, but I was never online to have communication with friends and family. I was only online to try and help people with the hypnosis -y stuff that I did. In the process, I have made some friends. So, you know, so they are my friends now, but I'm saying, the only people I block, I never block those people. I never block like Boston Chicky, for example, or Sebastian, or uh, Letty, or there's a few different people that I never block, ever. But I do block brother and brother, you know, like friends in uh, that I physically live near, you know? 
and I did that recently. I blocked everyone. So, but then, yeah, it's anyway, so I've got that. So I kind of destroy a few things. Some people really get the ump, really, really take it like a personal, um, I say some people, quite a lot of people, it seems, take it personally when you block them or delete them off of Facebook. And I've actually gone out of my way to explain to family and friends that Facebook is just a website. It's a website. It doesn't mean anything, you know. Um, it means a bit more if I was to block someone that lives in America and our only communication was through Facebook. Yeah, then it means something maybe more. But if it's someone that, oh, I've got their telephone number on my phone, then I can communicate with them. I know where they live and, you know. Or in the case of, let's say, Sebastian, Boston Chicky, just two people I mentioned, so I know you might be watching. We're on Skype, so we can contact each other on Skype. So even if you, we don't contact on Facebook, there's always a way of contacting. You can contact each other on YouTube. Um, Sebastian's probably even got my address. I think Boston, yeah, Boston, you both got my address. Wow. Um, so yeah, because I know Boston sent me a present for Andre and for myself, but it was a Christmas thing. So, yeah, Christmas. Will be cr Christmas before, I can't remember when. And Sebastian, he just stalks me. He sends me uh, dirty underwear, I don't know why. It's quite weird, <laughs> he doesn't do that at all. I don't know why I'm mentioning it. Sends you pictures of Jimmy Savile. Um, so, that's the first part of my little brain fart, mood swing, reaction. The next thing I do is, or have done in the past, is delete my website. Now that can take two ways. I can either delete it, as in just cancel the website. I've done that quite a few times, the jasonnewland.com one. And then I go and I re-undelete and resubscribe and generally get the whole lot back. It might take a couple of days to do that. Other times I have, before I've done that, I've deleted all the content first and then um, cancelled or deleted the whole site and the subscription to the monthly payment for the host, which means I can't get any of that stuff back anymore. I've done that quite a few times. Sometimes I'll just delete all the content because I'm not happy with it and have to start all over again. So I've done that quite a few times over the years. Then there's YouTube. I have cancelled. Sometimes I will just delete videos, especially with the Jason chats. I've got. I've had a habit of deleting videos. I've made well over a hundred, maybe hundreds of Jason chats over the years, uh, and. How many have I got left? It was about 30, I think. And most of them have just been made in the last couple of months. So I have a habit of deleting them, but not just off of YouTube, but off of the laptop, off of the thing, you know, everything. Other times I have, as well as that, I then, what do I do? Yeah delete podcasts see I know when things are really bad is when I delete my SoundCloud and I've done that a couple of times and had to re upload everything and my SoundCloud is my main podcast at the moment I've got like 100 just under 150,000 um, plays uh, on there since I've had it but I've had lots of SoundCloud podcasts over the years uh, and I've deleted them. My, I used to have a Podomatic, I had a few Podomatic podcasts, I, I still do now actually, some new ones, but I had all my stuff on there. 
and I'd had a lot of play, a lot of downloads on there. Um, but then I deleted that, got rid of it. And then YouTube, again, I've deleted channels, the main channels. I had a channel with half a million, and I deleted that. So I had our half a million uh, plays. Uh, I was getting, what was I getting? 45,000 views a month at that point when I deleted it. I had, I don't know, someone told me I had about 4,000 subscribers. So it was going well and it's growing. It really was growing. So sort of week after week, day after day, I was getting more and more and more um, plays and more. I was getting more, I was getting subscribers every single day, like a continuous stream. And I had a, one of my brain farts and I actually dared myself to delete it. So I went through the whole process and all that to do, and it was like, you want to delete this? And YouTube says, are you sure? And I dared myself to do it. So yeah, I deleted that. Uh, I deleted a few, but um, recently, or last year, I actually lost a few as well, um, YouTube channels. But we're talking, we're talking about what I've done myself. So I have deleted some, some YouTube channels. And so I just wanted to explain the kind of mental state that I was in when I was doing that stuff. Uh, when it's got really bad, I've smashed up laptops. I've, sm I've destroyed one, two, three, four, probably five, maybe six laptops over the years. Um, Sometimes I smash them up. Uh, there was one back in, it's a long time ago, about 2006 maybe. I took my laptop into the garden with a sledgehammer and I smashed it to bits with a sledgehammer. And the last time I, it's been a while since I smashed the laptop up because my last laptop actually broke. So the last time I smashed the laptop up would have been Probably about four, four years ago, maybe a bit longer. And then an extreme, even more extreme than that, was when I destroyed all of my hypnosis books. Not just the books, but also DVDs, uh, hypnosis courses, all kinds of stuff. I had thousands and thousands of pounds worth of hypnosis material, you know, that I'd spent, that I'd, I'd been collecting for, since 1998. You know, I had hundreds of books, some of them like cost, you know, 30, 40, 60 quid, some of them, pounds, 60 pounds, some of them were 10 pounds, but there was a lot, a lot of quite really expensive, rare, out of print books as well. Um, they were in print when I bought them, but they're kind of gone out of print now. And that brain fart, it was some kind of episode, lasted for two days. And my mood was um, ecstatic. I was ecstatically happy. But couldn't do anything else. All I could do was destroy these books. I ripped them up. Not page by page, because it would took me forever, but as many pages as I could rip up, and my hands were bleeding, and I really, dis you know, really hurt my hands in the process. And I had so many black bags of rubbish at the end of it. And there was a numbness, there was a numbness there, but there was a I didn't have any emotional pain when I was doing it. There was a relief. I don't know what it was. I don't know. It's something. It's very strange. It's a very strange situation. But that's what I'm trying to explain. I do. I have in the past done some really, really silly things when I've been in that mode, that mood, that mode, mood, moody mode. So now, what I try to do. And I was in this mode on Saturday night, last Saturday, 
but it was a bit worth it. The, the feeling was just incredibly, really, really low. Um, a lowness that I could not deal with for any amount of time. It would be too much to handle if it stayed like that. Uh, that's one of my biggest worries in life. Um, is that one day it will stay. I whistle. I must have something weird. I'm whistling. Stay. Stay. S anyway, I'm worried that one day that I get that low and I go to bed thinking, please, you know, let me just sleeve it off and I wake up feeling better in the morning or, you know, in a couple of hours or whatever. And then waking up and still feeling the same. That's, I mean, that's what it was like when I've been in that depression before, but this somehow feels worse than that. It's like having a month's worth of depression all compressed into an evening or a day or an hour or, you know, whatever. Um, I don't talk about my own depression. I, I'm not. I can't compare any emotion or feelings that I have with anyone else's because we're all different. And because um, I know some people think, well, if you had a, a month's worth of my depression, you wouldn't be able to handle that in an hour. And you know, I understand that. I understand that. Um, I can't know how it feels for you or if you know, whoever. So watching this, I can't know how it feels for you. How your emotional life is and how your mind feels, the emotions. I can't know how that feels for you. All I can know is how it feels for me. And you're never going to know how it feels for me either. It's the same way. Um, I try to express it in words in these videos, but I don't know. I don't think words really do justice to feelings generally personally I, you know there's lots of different words but my meaning of a word could be different to your meaning of a word even though it's an official meaning is the same if I say I'm delighted you know, that's, that's, you know, I'm really happy for you I might I say that and so I'm just like yeah good luck you might be really happy you might have all these feelings of happiness and you might feel physically wonderful and emotionally elated while saying that to somebody who's just had a baby or, you know, I might say it and say, I'm happy for you. You know, you just, you know, well done. Your vagina works. It's, um, or, you know, you got the job that you wanted or your vagina work. I can't, sort of, I can't, it just comes out, sorry. And it's, I don't, necessarily have the same feelings as another person and you don't as another person either and I think that's what we get as humans maybe it's a bit difficult assuming that other people understand what we mean when we use words Andre hello mate come on I need some light relief let's get the boy up what's that yeah, I know, I've got to stop saying vagina. Sorry, mate. I didn't mean to. I didn't plan to say it. I know I should know better. I know. Shh. I know I'm a qualified counsellor. <laughs> stop being rude to me. So, what I try to do now is, when I'm in that frame of mind of wanting to destroy stuff, I put the laptop lid down. I turn it off at the at the mains and I walk away from the laptop. And it's painful to do that. It's painful to not do anything to try and relieve the the pain. But, but you know, but there you go. So the, I do. I am kind of trying to learn from previous. Uh, behavior which was destructive not just to me but also to other people because I've been told via you know the internet by quite a few people that they missed 
the sleep stuff, you know, the sleeping, I think one was try and stay awake challenge, which is one of my most popular hypnosis videos that I ever did. And I had a lot of people, quite a lot of people actually tell me, oh, that um, they couldn't sleep anymore because they didn't have me to listen to and bore them at night. So, and I've been trying to tell people for years to download my stuff, you know? Listen to it, you can download off of YouTube, you can download, um, I've got my podcasts, and if there's a session you like, then download it, um, and share it. You can share my stuff on YouTube as well, you can do what you want with it. You know, who's that? Who's that little baby there? Who's that cutie little baby there? Who's there? Hello? 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 He's got such a bendy spine. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Look at that. Look at that. Are you going to sleep? Are you going to sleep? Oh, look at him. I think he's ready for bye byes. Mm. Give daddy kisses. Give daddy kisses. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. Don't call me gay. God, he's so cheeky. I think he's a bit homophobic. He's also a bit of a pervert. Loves feet. And hands. He likes biting hands, but if I could get a foot, a severed foot, and if I went to the morgue. <laughs> Where am I going with this? If I don't know, if I was able to get hold of a foot, that's all I'm saying, he would be happy. He would probably, he would dump my slipper for the foot and that would be his new girlfriend. It's a nice image, isn't it? So I'm having problems with the internet at the moment. The video I did yesterday took me hours to upload from my phone. The internet's playing up, properly playing up. So I'm going to phone them up on Monday, see if they're going to send out someone to check to fix it, or I'm going to have to change service providers. I'm thinking of going with Virgin. So, uh, I don't know. They're supposed to be the fastest. Actually, the fastest connection. The there was this town in in England. I think it was like a village or something. They dug their own trenches, and they put in their own pipe, like internet pipe and stuff. And they were getting right. Get this. They were getting one gigabyte a second download speed. One gigabyte a second. Can you imagine? Like everything you do would be instant. Everything. Any video, everything. That's amazing. I mean, I'd love to have one gigabyte a second. You know, live broadcasts would be a dream. It'd be so easy. All this like uploading videos and I realise uploading is different from downloading and um, but if you've got download speed of one gigabyte, your upload speed is probably gonna be well my upload my upload my download speed at the moment is about thirty six megabytes a second and my upload speed is about eleven or twelve. So 
you're going to be at least 300 megabytes a second upload and the average video never go usually much more than one or two gigs for a, like a longer video so it's going to take a couple of minutes two or three minutes not less than that, and at one thirty three hundred a second, three six nine twelve, yeah, what five seconds? Why am I thinking minutes? Five or six seconds for a really, really big video, long video. I love that. So I might change over to Virgin or have a look, see what other places are available to um, try and get a faster, if I'm going to lease the one I'm with now, I might as well get a faster connection, might as well go for that. And the thing is with internet connections, the broadband, is the, the thing they charge most for is the phone line. The one thing that nobody actually wants. Who, who wants a phone line? Everyone, you know, most people are using mobile phones, or mobile phones, or cell phones, whatever you call them, where you are. I don't need a landline, but I do need a landline because the internet goes through it. But with Virgin, they dig their own trenches and they put in their own copper microfilter, whatever they call it, stuff. So you don't actually, you don't need a telephone with them, as far as I'm aware. I might be lying on that one, I think it's true. So there, anyway. <sighs> this is my Saturday night. It's three minutes past 11 o'clock in the evening. And today, last night I had a cough. I was sneezing during the day. I felt rough. I woke up, still felt a bit rough. I had a fairly good night's sleep, I think, but I couldn't get to sleep. I couldn't. I wasn't wasn't tired, although I should have felt tired, but I wasn't tired last night. But when it came to going to bed, I mean. Then, woke up. My phone had gone off. What are you doing, Andre? Anyway, I uh, I woke up and Andre was wide awake. He was in his cage looking at me, trying to get out. So I, try, I was trying to sort of creep around not to disturb him, but he was already awake. Normally he's fast asleep when I wake up. So I take my tablet, I do a wee wee, take my tablet from my stomach and I go back to bed. And I sit up in bed and make the latest uh, let me bore you to sleep uh, session, audio session. And that was about 40 minutes long, I think, something like that. And it was all going quite well, and I start coughing. Like, I'm right near the end. I'm trying to hold this cough in, and I couldn't help it. I tried to do it soft, like gently. Like, <coughs> you know, but it was quite difficult. It's like a, I don't know, I felt, you know, it's, it's like when you get a fly stuck in your throat during a funeral, you know, you don't want to make too much noise. Like, pubic hair, I don't know, but I, right at the end, as I was just finishing it, I started needing to cough again, that's what I said, so I was like, and now, we're going to come to the end, of the session, have a lovely day, bye, and I'm like that, so I just really needed to cough, but I didn't want to do it anymore, because Mildly distracting, I imagine, for someone if they're listening to me because they want to be bored to sleep, to suddenly hear me coughing. I mean, what's next? Start pulling out a trumpet and start playing a trumpet. You know, it's, I've got to try and stay with what it's about. I used to play the bugle when I was a kid. I was in the Sea Cadets and I used to play the bugle. Still remember the tune. One of the tunes like and 
basically with a trumpet, with a bugle, it's like, <coughs> you, that's how you do it. You've got to basically spit into the, the thing. <coughs> it's, it's an instrument you don't really want to share. That's what I'm saying. And so, oh God, he's going to be naughty now. I'm going to go because Andre's about to, I'm going to take you with me. That's him. See? What are you doing? Back to me. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Um, I don't know what else to say, really. That's pretty much it. <sighs> Had a bit of sleep today. I had a relaxing day, actually. It's, as I said earlier, hottest day of the year. I didn't go out until this evening with him, with Andre. But I had the windows open, had the wind, you know, things, you know, the curtains, neck curtains open so I could have the sunlight in. I just laid on my bed and just relaxed. In between uploading stuff and doing a bit of internet work and then going to bed, coming back, doing a bit of that stuff. And this evening I've been working on my website and trying to get, I'm just trying to get things organised. And I've in the process of making playlists for all of my sessions on uh, my SoundCloud podcast. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. But right this second, I'm going to get Andre because he's now, I'll show you what he's doing. Come with me. Let me show you what he's doing. You ready? I don't know if you got that. Basically, he thinks if he can climb and get hold of my jacket, that something's gonna happen, like I'm gonna take him out. Like I'm gonna take him for a walk at 11 o'clock at night. It's never gonna happen. I have gone for walks at that time, but I'm not generally gonna do that, I'm not gonna take him out it's dark outside I can't walk on the grass because of the dog poo in the park because there's no not enough lighting during the day I can do that because I, you know, I can scan and see what's out there <sighs> and that's the end of this Jason Chats jasonchats.com mm. um, yeah so that's it Got nothing else to say. I never had anything to say to start with. Yeah, I may manage to make it last 48 minutes. How the hell am I gonna upload this? The one yesterday was, I think, 20 minutes or whatever, and it took me three days to upload. What, what's this, this? December, this should be uploaded by. Anyway, take care. And as I said, thank you. It's a light little apology for those of you that have subscribed before and I've lost the channel or deleted the channel, whatever happened. My plan now is I've got different channels. Jason Chat's channel, Sleep Hypnosis channel, Jason Chip was it Jason Newland's Sleep Hypnosis, Jason Newland's Relaxation Hypnosis, and the Jason Chat's bipolar blog. So I've got three YouTube channels. I'm gonna be doing a, another one for the chronic pain stuff. But I'm not gonna rush into that, I'm just gonna, they're all on a podcast anyway, but I'm just gonna take my time and not uh, bombard YouTube with lots of my stuff. I think I'll just stick to the, the most popular stuff for now and the Jason Chats ones as well. Uh, and they're just, just self-indulgence, self isn't it? Basically for me, talking about myself my favourite thing, being boring and talking at people, two, two combinations, two favourite things.
okay, there's three, but I can't do the other one. But not, you know, I can't post that on YouTube. But two of my favourite things. So I'm gonna go. Well, three of my favourite things, Andre. So I get to cuddle him as well. So and show him off because I like, I like it when he gets attention. I took him out earlier, and his young girls, a group of young girls, were like all over him. Oh, he's so cute and. There was this, uh, another lady that had, was with her dog. They were all dog walkers though. And it's like, oh, he's got such a pretty face. And I like that. I love him getting attention because he's, he's my boy, isn't he? He's my son. And I, I love it when he gets uh, all these nice comments and stuff. I don't know. I'm just a, a proud daddy, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna go see you all later. And unfortunately, I'll probably make another one of these tomorrow. So take care. This is Jason Newland. Uh, my main website is jasonnewland.com. That's where all my hypnosis stuff is, where you can link to everything, including the hypnotic buffet, which I do every Monday, and the sleep hypnosis, what is it? Let me bore you to sleep, which seems to be every day at the moment, and all the other stuff. But jasonchats.com is the home, the home, the whole, the home for this stuff, as well as the YouTube channel, of course. See you later, and uh, be happy. And if you can't be happy, then be miserable. <laughs> I try to think it must got to be a positive you can't be happy um, eat chocolate I don't know whatever but I'll see you next time ta-ra boy boy boy